There's nothing any more thrilling to me than this. I, 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 that's it. And I think, you know, uh, the first time I saw you uh, was at the Fillmore East um, with opening for Big Brother and the Holding Company with Janis Joplin. Yeah. Oh, Janis, Janis Joplin and I sang a song that night, you know. Uh -huh. She wanted to, she came to the dressing room, she said, Mavis, I want to sing a gospel song. I said, you do? I, said, I came up, I said, okay, Janet. No, I'm not talking like her. I said, okay, Janet, I'm going to say, I'm going to lay down my burden down by the riverside. And then you come and you say, I'm going to put on my long white robe down by the river. And we carried that song on. I, I have a picture of us. We both had little mini dresses on. Yeah. <laughs> That was, that was great. It great was show. nice, really nice. I remember they had you and your family, if I remember correctly, set up kind of stage left a little bit because Big Brother and the Holding Company took up so much room. I happened to be seated like fourth row back, yeah. right in front of you. Wow. And, uh, and you, your, buddy, you were there. Uh, yeah, I was there. And <laughs> we should talk about, and Jeff, I, and I'm not, this will tie in too because. I'm, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> But I, I want to no, say one no, thing. No. Your father, Robot Pop Stable, yes. has, is a influenced any guitar player that's picked up an electric guitar, whether they know it or not. Anybody has been influenced by him. It's just incredible. And Jeff, you, you did the record that don't lose this record. And what was the story on that? I know there's got to be a. Oh, a, yeah. a you tell him, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> well. You tell Pops made this record, uh, and he never had a chance to finish it before he passed away. Right. So, uh, I kept it for 15 years, yeah. but not letting anyone hear it until I let Jeff hear it. And uh, uh, we had already worked on a couple of records together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she brought this record in to the studio, and we listened to it, and she asked me if I thought I could do something with it, and I said, Please, yes. <laughs> yes. What did it feel like to both of you to put the tracks up? Had you heard it since? Oh, then? yeah. You, okay. you, I mean, you'd heard it before you guys started working on it a, a yes, lot. Yes, I, I, okay. I had heard it. No heard one it had heard it but me. But then I, I uh, when I heard what Tweety put, did to it, I told him, I said, Tweety, I need you to tweak it. I need you to <laughs> tweak it and, and take some of that stuff out of there because that's not pops. You know, and, and it was too crowded. I was. And he took it all out, and he left mostly just Pops and Pops' and guitar. And, and our voices, of course, my sisters and I were singing on it. And, and uh, uh, Tweety, when I went over to, he, he called me, he said, okay, Mavis, you can come and check some of it out. I got a lot of it done. We went on over to the loft, yeah. the will call loft. Yeah, which I've just seen, which is amazing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And 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 Ben, buddy, I I when he put it on, my tears just started flowing. I just couldn't help but cry. You know, this song, friendship, and another song, and uh, uh, what all you've done for us, you know, and and sweet home. It's all of Daddy's favorites. One song when Pop was a boy, he, he would always sing it, and he'd tell us. That was my favorite song when I was a boy. And that, that was, uh, ever since I have been living in this world of sin, I have had trials old every day. I have started out to find a better home. That's the one, that's the one. And, and look, I just, I been hooed all over that loft. <laughs> The law, I've just seen it on uh, YouTube, and it's just it, it, incredible. That's a, how did you even get into recording? I mean, get, I mean, you, because you were, you, you, you start, I mean, Uncle Tupelo kind of started it all mm -hmm. for a, all, you know, for a whole genre. Uh, and then while you were busy just being in a band, how did you get into production record? I mean, I should ask, because well, I do the, 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 a little bit of that genius. too. But, yeah. Well, uh, genius. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think the thing that I, I think that early on we, we would get a little bit of money and uh, we didn't have like big gigantic recording contracts, but we had big enough recording contracts that I would go, wow, that's amazing. And then at the end of the recording process, it would all be gone and all we would have would be a stupid record. 
<laughs> and, then, and I thought, why aren't we spending, why don't we just buy the equipment to, to make the record, and then we can build on that the next time we make a record. I mean, that's not the, I'm not the first person to have that idea, but, but basically that every record from then, from, uh, I guess from AM on, I just started wow. like making yeah. the, the recording process a little bit better, a little bit easier. And then the space mm -hmm. is... Well, we got the space Something 20 else. years ago, and we just got it to be a, a rehearsal space and to store our gear and merch and stuff like that, because we were tired of getting our stuff out of storage right. to go rehearse. Yeah. I would have a policy when I go, every every run I made, not every tour, every, every shorter run, I would say, I'm buying a piece of gear at the end of every run. I just put some money aside, so after, you know, after 20 right. years of that, you got junk in the house. Yeah, so, so then, uh, you know, and about 10 years ago, um, I would always been told by engineers and people we worked with, uh, this is fine to record here, but you can't really make records up here. And I was like, well, we've made almost all of our records up here, but okay, I guess you're right. Because so, we'd always gone somewhere else to mix. And then I, I met Tom Schick, yeah. and um, he came in to work with us. And I said, where do you want to go mix it? And he said, why aren't we, why not here? And, yeah. and since then, we've never really done well, anything else. And anymore. the record sound, the record YouTube, how did you two get together? They sound beautiful. Oh, I, mean, they, they, I mean, how did that come about, the two of you? Working together. Did yeah. you really? I went out there when I no, you know we 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 both live in Chicago, yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> I got real comfortable with yeah. yeah. it. <laughs> it's comforting to be sitting together. Yes, it is. To me. <laughs> but yeah, we we both live in Chicago. I'm on the south side, and he's on the north side. And Tweety came out to uh, to, to a show we were doing on the north side. Came backstage and met me. Then uh, we took pictures together, we laughed and talked. Two weeks later, my manager says, Mavis, Jeff Tweedy wants to produce your next record. <laughs> and oh boy, I hit the ceiling. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. You know, this is a guy who, who what, was the only thing I had of him, on him was sky blue sky. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you and had that, huh? I had it, yeah. Wow. And but and, but he You are the coolest Vegas. But Tweedy is cool, you know. Jeff Tweedy. Jeff Tweedy wants to produce you. You know, I had been producing myself up to that time, you know. And uh but 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 it all went down fine. I told Dave, I said, look, well, I don't know him that well. I need to talk to him. We need to get to know each other so I can see if we're going to jail. I asked Speedy, a uh, Tweedy, we were, we were. <laughs> you had to go and get some I could, name Speedy. I, could, <laughs> <laughs> I did it so I could be close to you. Yeah. I named him Speedy. <laughs> my, tour man, my tour manager is Speedy. But, so, but, but um, we had lunch together. I had Tweedy to come to the South Side. South Side? <laughs> <laughs> south Side is supposed to be dangerous, you know? And I lived on, so, and Tweedy, he came in, he was quiet. And my sister Yvonne and I, I said, she's scared. Yeah, I know Yvonne's your partner. Yvonne, your partner. I am, I am scared. You was, you was on that South Side. <laughs> no, I wasn't scared of being on the South Side. I'm just. You wouldn't, but you just, so. I just maintain a general level of fear. No. <laughs> But he was, he was quiet, and he, he, I saw he was kind of shy, you know. So I said, now, he's shy, and I just got, I left with Prince. Prince was shy, right, yeah. and, 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 and <laughs> Tweety. So I, I cracked a joke. I had to, I did some, and we broke up, and broke it up, and he started talking. He started telling me how he had access to all the staple singers' music. He worked in a record shop when he was 18 years old, and he had all of our music. When we were doing the session, Tweedy was walking around the, the studio with his Walkman well, on his headphone, and he asked me one time, he said, you know what I got on here? I said, what? All the staple singers music. Everybody. The way Buddy, it blew it my It should mind. be staple singers, maybe staple, and Jeff Tweedy. It should Jeff be required Tweedy. listening for every person in this country. Yes. Yeah. 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 And I everybody should hear. Yes, 
all of it. Yes. And, uh, in one city. And uh, I do want to say, you're, you, you both have books that, you, that I've read. You've written your book, and Greg oh, Cott wrote wow. your, your oh, book. Wow. Yours, the story of your life. Yeah, I know. That, yeah, yeah, that's oh, a, that's, that's for a whole good tweet. Yeah. Tweet didn't need to write a book on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The story of your life reads like a book out of the Bible. It's yes, a, yeah. It is amazing. It is breathtaking and, yes. and heartbreaking and just in, inspiring all at the same time. Thank you, buddy. So, But there was a lot of my stories left out of that book, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff's book. Jeff told it all. <laughs> he told it all. That's a yeah. great, oh my gosh. I couldn't believe Jeff. This is working out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I'm, no, but I'm just going to lean back and let you guys keep talking. <laughs> Mavis, I know that, that uh, one of my favorite places to play is the Hideout oh, up yeah. there in Chicago. And they are so proud that you played there and they've got this nice shrine up in the upstairs in the dress room. you got to check out the Hideout. They have a throne. They yeah. Have, they have Mavis's yeah. throne. I do have a yeah. throne. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think it's for me. It is for me because I live in Chicago. No, you're the queen. No, you are made I of live staples. in Chicago. Trust me, they don't spoil me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you, Mavis. Hey, when you the first record you guys made was "You Are Not Alone," right? Did you write that for Mavis? I did. Well, it was uh, Mavis and I had a conversation where we were talking about uh, different songs. The, the, she was going to record, and I had played a bunch of old music that I thought would be, you know, kind of fun to, to revive and, and, and have hear Mavis sing. But I thought I should write some songs for the record, too. And our first conversation we had on the phone, one of the things uh, that we talked about was that even, the, even if you come from a different world musically, music kind of all says the same thing. It all communicates the same idea that you're not alone. So mm -hmm. that seemed like the starting point of our friendship. You know, it's just this, yeah. this belief that music is a, a great consolation and companion for anybody. It doesn't matter, it could be, you know, heavy metal, it could be right. anything, and somebody is sitting somewhere feeling less alone because, right. because that music is keeping them company. Mm -hmm. Could you play that? Would you mind? Okay. And then I know you have a show to get to. We got this little Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Acoustic. <laughs> A broken dream, 
a broken heart Isolated and afraid Open up, this is a ray I, I wanna get it through to you Thank y'all so much. 